My name is Laura Barlow, and I've been working in MRI for 10 years. At UBC, we're focused on research, particularly in the field of advanced neuroimaging. My first encounter with the Ingenia Elition was during acceptance testing, and it was my initial impression that it was really pretty intuitive and easy to figure out. But it was when I realized just how comfortable the table and the mattresses and, of course, the size of the bore compared to the 60 centimeter uh, bore system that we were coming from that I was truly delighted with the Ingenia Elition. The comfort mattress, ambient system, and inboard experience are real advantages that support patient comfort. The protocols and sequences that we use in the kind of multiple sclerosis research that we do can be really, really long, so it can be very challenging for our participants. But we've had excellent feedback with the Philips Ingenia Elition. Uh, people are excited about the inboard experience instead of finding the MRI scary and they report being comfortable in there too. Um, I've, I've been in there myself and I can only agree. We can now set our patients up using the FlexTrack trolley, which makes getting on and off the table smoother, uh, particularly for our research volunteers with reduced mobility. The next scan will last for two minutes. AutoVoice is another positive in my experience. And what our participants really appreciate is the progress bar that shows them how much time is remaining in the current sequence and how much time there is remaining to scan. Hold your breath. For the volunteers, this is great, because uh, they know what to expect, when to hold their breath, and how much longer the scan will take. Examination is now complete. And from a technologist's point of view, it's great because I know that the patient is receiving guidance and I can concentrate on other things myself. The entire workflow is smooth on the Ingenia Lition. Uh, patient positioning and setup, launching the scan with AutoStart as soon as we leave the scan room. Uh, there are, of course, the exam cards for easy geometry and setup. Uh, the intuitive touchscreen on the gantry, uh, Vitaleye patient sensing, all of these things are much better than on our old system. So Vitaleye captures robust respiratory signals and we need less equipment on the subject. While we were testing it, we instructed volunteers to move around a bit to try to fool the system and the scanner still performed really well, even with the added motion. We're really enjoying Compressed Sense uh, because it's helping us scan faster at higher resolution, which is great for confidence in neuro research. And I'd say in terms of neuroimaging, Compressed Sense is the greatest advance for us. Uh, we're also adding it to our musculoskeletal sequences because it's been useful everywhere.